There has been much recent interest in knot energies. One goal of knot theory is to detect equivalent knots. But if we take a complicated knot like this, it is hard to tell how we might simplify it. One idea, shown here, is to associate to every closed curve in space an energy, and evolve the curve to reduce this energy. Our energy is like the potential energy obtained if we spread electric charge along the curve. Minimizing it makes the different strands repel each other. The particular energy we use is one studied by O'Hara and by Friedman et al. and is a double integral over pairs of points on the curve of one over distance squared. We model this experimentally with polygonal curves whose edges have equal length. This energy is scale invariant and also invariant under Mobius transformations of space. As we watch the evolution again, remember that this Mobius invariance seems to give freedom to stretch parts of the curve, allowing it to untie. Since the curve we started with was actually an unknot, though quite tangled, it can evolve to the round circle. This round circle has the minimum possible energy for any curve. Its energy equals zero. The simplest truly knotted knot is this trefoil. If we evolve to minimize its energy, we get a symmetric picture, also constructible theoretically, with energy about 70. Let's watch the evolution again with the knot spinning. To illustrate the Mobius invariance of the energy, we now take a tour through part of the conformal group. All our pictures in this video are rendered with tubes around the knots to make them more visible, though the energy, of course, is computed for infinitesimally thin curves. As we apply Mobius transformations to the knot, the tube gets thinner and thicker but we should ignore this and follow the core curve. Note that as we change our conformal view, sometimes we see twofold or threefold Euclidean symmetry. This knot actually always has a continuous Mobius symmetry. It is the orbit of a single point under a rigid rotation of S3. Our energy also works for links of several components. One interesting link is the Borromean rings, often pictured as three ovals in perpendicular planes. Shown is an energy minimizing configuration. But remember that the Mobius invariance really makes this picture equivalent to many others, like these nearly planar circles. The energy of these configurations is approximately 200. Although it has been shown that prime knots always have a minimizing configuration, others, like this sum of two trefoils, degenerate under energy minimization. The energy of the limit of this sequence is exactly twice the energy of a single trefoil knot, since the two hardly interact. The conformal group could be used to make one of the two sum ends look large, but not both at once. This Hopf link of two components has energy 4 pi squared. The configuration is conformally equivalent to two opposite equators in S3, or to a circle with a perpendicular line through its center. Other torus knots have, like the trefoil, symmetric critical points, but these often seem to be unstable. For instance, the symmetric 3-4 torus knot has energy about 203. As it breaks its symmetry, it reaches the presumed minimum with energy about 3 units less. After this, the evolution continues, evidently through Mobius transformations, while decreasing energy by less than 0.05. 
This happens because our discretization, which forces edges to have equal length, is not Mobius invariant. We will now show the end result of the evolution inverted in the unit sphere. Note that it looks the same as our first non-symmetric picture. Similarly, the 3-5 torus knot has a symmetric critical point, but this seems unstable and evolves to a less symmetric configuration, which is the presumed minimum. Finally, we show what seems to be the energy minimizing configuration of the figure eight knot, the second simplest true knot after the trefoil. <laughs>